Heidi Ho, Andrew Glazer from GlazerTutoring.com, and today we're late to teach you how to balance zinc plus hydrochloric acid, you know, zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. So the first thing I do when I balance is I like to just place in these little lines in front or to the left of each particular compound. That represents the location where I'm going to place my potential uh, coefficients. The next thing I want to do is just keep in mind the general principle that whatever, however many elements I have on the left-hand side or atoms I have on the left have to balance however many elements or atoms I have there on the right-hand side, okay? And then from there, all I do is I start working from left to right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the first element I see, I have a zinc. And all I want is I want zinc to be in one compound or one area. On, now I know zinc is not a compound because it's just by itself. I understand that it's in the standard state. But what I'm trying to say is that I only want zinc to be in one location, okay, on the left. And I only want zinc to be in one location on the right. And it is in one location. It is tied in with the zinc chloride, okay? So that's something I love to balance. It's very easy to balance that. So how many zincs do you have on the left? Well, that's where you look to the subscript. You have one zinc on the left, and you also have one zinc on the right. So guess what? It's balanced. Move on. Nice and easy, right? Hopefully the whole problem works out this way. The next thing I'm going to do is move on to hydrogen. Now I have hydrogen only in the compound hydrochloric acid on the left-hand side. So I want to, and I only have hydrogen here on the, uh, in the uh, uh, gaseous state on the right-hand side. So I want to work with the hydrogen. It's only one location on the left and one location on the right. Okay. So now let's see, there's one hydrogen on the left. There's going to be, oh, two hydrogen on the right. So you wanna always place a coefficient on the lower side, all right? And you have to think multiplicatively. In other words, if I place a two here, two times one will then equal two. So now I have two hydrogens on the left and I have two hydrogens on the right. So that is now balanced, okay? So let's leave in the two, I'm gonna erase the one. Now, how, chlorine is last, right? Chlorine is last, I was thinking about what I was gonna say, obviously, uh, so chlorine is last. So. Chlorine only exists in the hydrochloric acid compound, and chlorine only exists in the zinc, zinc chloride compound. So I want to work with that. And plus, it's the last thing anyway, so we're going to work with it anyway. Now, how many chlorines do you have on the left-hand side here? Well, remember that there's a subscript of one, but you placed in a coefficient. As soon as you place in that coefficient, you cannot ignore it. Do not ignore Don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. All right? You got to take that into account. So two times one is simply going to be a two. So you got two chlorines on the left. And that better equal now, however many chlorines you have here on the right. You have two chlorines on the right. Remember, if there's no value here, it's assumed to be a one. So one times two is simply two. So actually this is already balanced, right? So that's all it is. If we go back and we just clean things up a little bit, this is the balanced equation. See how nice and simple this is? All right, and that's all you gotta do. You, one little value, place in a two, all of a sudden magic. It's all balanced. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you out. And if it does, give us a hand, like, subscribe. Maybe even tell some of your classmates. We've got thousands of videos out there. We've got a whole channel dedicated to helping you get through whatever class you might be taking, math, physics, chemistry, whole to all types of chemistry too. we got a lot coming out. So please continue to check back, all right? We'd love to help you. Take care.